Good day friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and today I'm going to combine 3D printing with my laser cutter, so let's get cracking. Friends, here's the gig. I print these tiny little turtles and I leave them for people to find. I call them Pisca prints. There's a place I climb called Mount Pisca and this makes it more enjoyable for the children and sometimes the parents when the kids are grumpy. On a lot of my items, I tag them with HL Mod Tech. Instead of doing that via the printer, I want to do it here with the laser cutter. I've got a strategy. Let me show you what I found. So the design I created is called a turtle tray. I will right now put this back so it isn't transparent. You can see that there is the shell of a turtle. I've got a place for a couple tacks. So let me ungroup all this and show you just what I've got going on. So these little parts right here are where I put tacks. That holds it in place so I can reuse this again and again and again. I also made this distance 40 by 40 because that's the size of the laser module so now I can line it up with these two little pegs almost instantly. Now this right here when I actually used it you can see I don't have it lined up. I'm going to hit a line. I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to put it in the center. This one I did have good. I did find that when I printed this though it was a little smaller than I want. So instead of one millimeter I'm going to make that two millimeters and then I'm also going to make this one from this side two millimeters and I'll just drag it so that way it's a little bit more sturdy I think I'm also gonna click on these and I'm gonna make them a little larger too so I'm gonna just stretch it to eight but then I'm gonna put it back to the one and I'm gonna stretch it to eight and I'm gonna put it back to one let me show you what I did here with the turtle tray uh, you can see I trimmed off these edges because I wanted the least amount of printing as I could. I've got a part that's underneath and I'm going to ungroup that. I'm going to hide all these for a second and I'll show you them again in a minute. Let's ungroup one more time and this is the turtle. Right now he's set as a hole. I'll hide this so it's out of the way. And this is the actual print and since I made it into a hole it's gonna cut out and give it a place for that to sit upside down and that way it's a lot easier for me to laser cut. So let's do some grouping. I'm gonna rehide these. Alright friends so it's time to group these two pieces. So notice it says two shapes and that gives us our first turtle piece. I'm gonna hide that for a second and I'm gonna take all of these pieces and I'm going to lock them. That way they can't get cut off. Now when I do show all, I can take these three big chunks and cut them out so you can see I have got a lot less design being 3D printed. This holds the turtle in place, but those parts that were locked, they did not group. So now I can grab all of those and I'm going to unlock them. So now everything is unlocked, you can double check, they're not purple. And then I'll group that one more time for 3D printing. And now let's take you out to the laser cutter and show you just how it works. So friends, right here are the two little pins that I'm going to line up with the laser module. Of course, the turtle's going to sit upside down right here, and those are the thumbtacks that hold it in place. The turtle simply lays in here upside down, just like this. Now I'm going to use the controller to move it. I use shift nudge so it moves a little bit faster. And then when I get close, I start using control nudge to line it up with these two little pins I created. Notice how easily they match up to the front edge and the left edge of the laser module. It's not a perfect system, but so far I'm saying it's pretty slick. All right, friends, so here we are in Lightburn. I have found that I use hlmodtech.com on two lines because it fits on this tiny turtle better. When we check our cuts and layers, I do it with one pass, 3000 speed, 100% power. I'm going to make sure I have it set to start from center. All right, friends, with it in position, let's quickly hit frame so we see if we like what it's doing. And let's start this first cut.
Alrighty friends, we're gonna do shift nudge so it moves out of the way. Let's grab our tiny little turtle, bring it out in front of the camera. Let's see if we can actually read HL Mod Tech. You do have to get real close, but there it is, hlmodtech.com in the turtle. Now it's a tiny bit left, so I'm gonna adjust the next one so I move it to the right. Let's try the other way. So once again, I'm gonna bring out one of my blue turtles. This is something I also have noticed is that the color does affect these. And then remember, it is simply a shift nudge to get it back. But then because I think I want it a little further, I'm gonna do control nudge to move it up one. And I'm gonna move it to the right one. And then let's change our settings just for giggles. And this time under cuts and layers, we're going to switch instead to number 23, which is the line. It's going to be 1,550% power. Let's see if we like that better. Bam. <laughs> it's obviously a lot faster. Let's do that shift nudge to move it forward and check it for readability. <laughs> it is there friends, you can see hlmodtech.com. I do have that lined up a lot better that time. I don't know which one is my favorite, but obviously the technique is pretty slick and it's just a matter of keep fiddling until I find the exact numbers for every color. All right, friends, so there you have it, the turtle tray and how I'm using the Orter Laser Master Pro to cut my PLA 3D prints. Friends, make sure you stay tuned as I will keep experimenting and I'll share what I find with you. Of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.